Adam, how do you take the last few games in the last couple of weeks? Because you've obviously got that league victory last weekend, which must have been huge. You won in the FA Cup the week before that. I think everybody was a bit disappointed in the trophy the other night. Yeah. Does it feel like you're heading in a positive direction generally on the pitch? Yeah, definitely. I think we not once have we fought negative. Um, obviously, it helps winning games, of course. But obviously, it's not going that way at the moment. But like you said, we got we got that second win of the of the season against Harrogate late on. I thought we sh- probably should have finished them off in the first half. But listen, it's it's our time will come, and hopefully, we can put that put that forward on Saturday. What does it do for belief? Because I know that players always say if you've got a good dressing room atmosphere, you don't lack confidence. It isn't an issue. But to play well, as the manager's been telling us all season, and not get a points return for that, that that's got to have an effect, hasn't it? <coughs> Pardon me. Um, yeah, it's, it's obviously frustrating. You're playing well and we're, we're working so hard through the week. And, and obviously on a Saturday and we have midweek games, we're, we're travelling, we went to Wimbledon, we went to Worthing. And lads are giving it everything, and them rewards are not coming back for us. And it's just the fine margins. I, I I spoke to a few people, fans, and after games, and the same were there. That we're, we're so close to winning games, and I think once we get on that run, I think we're, we're not going to stop. And that's me personally. I think once we get that run of games, and um, and we get consistent and scoring more goals because we're creating lots of chances and. We've shown that against the big teams this season. How much will a home league win make a difference to that? Because obviously the two you've had so far have both been really good away wins, yeah. but you've only won here in the trophy. Yeah, listen, it's always it's obviously nice winning away and at home, um, but especially the fans have turned out every week and, and it'd be something for them just to give them back to go home and think, oh, we've got three points at home and let's kick on from there. The majority of your fans obviously see you at home. I'm, I'm sure that's a, a huge factor in trying to reward them, isn't it? Why do you think you've not been able to get over the line here this season so far? Probably, like I said before, it's just them fine margins, switching off, lack of communication in the team. And and obviously, we played against some good teams this season, don't get me wrong. it's If you give them chances away, you get punished, and it's shown. Chesterfield, MK Dons, Bradford as well, where we lost um, last minute as well. Uh, obviously drew that game then we won it up but listen it's we've just got to put them games behind us because we know we're good enough to win games and hopefully we can do that against um, Paul Vale on Saturday it's as tough as it gets isn't it the team that are top of the league yeah. obviously you'll be doing your preparation and, and looking at what they do what do you expect from them though is there a, a big difference between top of the league and, and mid table and bottom yeah. in this division I, I've always said I think anyone can beat anyone in league two I've 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 realised that I've noticed that because I've been here in League Two now for three years. I think anyone, if you're on the day, you can beat anyone, whether you're bottom of the league, top of the league, and we're definitely going into Saturday thinking that we're going to beat them, and and hopefully we do that. Yeah, it's back to that belief factor again, isn't it? Do you have to? I don't know if you're the kind of sports person that does the whole manifest it thing, but I know a lot of people say you you have to believe it if you're going to go on and do it. If you don't believe it, you're never going to do it. Yeah, of course. If you don't believe in it, like you said, you're not. It's not going to happen. But me personally, and I know for a fact that the group, if we, if we turn up Saturday, we will win. It promises to be a slightly unusual home game. The supporters trust are organising, have organised the protest to the idea being not really disrupt what's going on on the pitch, but to raise awareness that the club's still not been sold. So you're going to see things like black balloons being released and maybe fans turning their back on the game. How much can you pay attention to what happens in the stand? Or is it blinkers on and concentrate on the football. Yeah, we can't we can't we can't afford to be putting our mind somewhere else. You've got as soon as it turns three o'clock we've got to go out and, and play our best and win the game. I think we're all football fans, aren't we? Whether we're footballers, journalists, whatever it is, we have our team, we love football. I'm sure as a football fan, you have lots of sympathy with the supporters here and the situation they find themselves in and, and the ownership position that the club are in. Yeah, I've, I think Obviously, we understand what's going on. Don't get me wrong; it's it is obviously hard for them because they're paying money to come and watch us, and we're not giving them the results where, where, where they, what they deserve. And I think we're so so close to getting them results, and hopefully, we can put that to them on Saturday and, and get them three points for, for what the fans deserve. And I spoke to Stuart Moore last week, and he said 
you can't affect what goes on off the pitch, but you guys can pick up points out there and hopefully try and give them something to cheer about on that front. I'm, I'm sure that's something that you guys as players feel you want to do because I guess that's your responsibility out there. Definitely, yeah. I, we're hoping we can give them what we done on on um, last Saturday against Harrogate. The the feeling was unbelievable. Like the fans had stayed with us till the end, and and we just never give up. And and we've noticed that all season with the fans. They they've turned out when we played Fleetwood away. We were two 0 down, and we brought it back to two two. And the the singing from minute one to the end. And hopefully they can do that for us on Saturday. You mentioned a minute ago being in League Two for the last couple of seasons. Obviously, this season is different in the sense yeah. that you're a full-time League Two player at Morecambe. How have you found that transition? Because you've had loads of loans, loads of football, yeah. but now you're a League Two footballer in your own right rather than borrowed from somebody else. Yeah. No, I, f- I think once you go, when you go on loan, I don't think oh, I was at Liverpool, obviously, at the time. I don't think I'm a Liverpool player. And For example, I was at Newport last year and I was a Newport player. That's, that's my mentality. I... I give everything for the club and, and that's what I'm going to do this year as well. I'm a Morgan player, I've signed permanent here and that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to give everything every time I step on that pitch. That's what I'm going to do is give me all. Do you think more about the future now that your career's kind of in your own hands rather than being planned out for you? Yeah, of course. It's it's obviously different because I, I, I was at Liverpool for 19 years where I always had that fall back when I was on loan and if I got injured, I knew I still had three years left and on good money I was but now it's obviously that kind of you're fighting every time you play you're fighting for that next contract you're fighting to stay in the team I've got a young family at home I've got two kids so I've got to think about them And but listen I've, I've really enjoyed my time here I, I did struggle at the start I weren't getting in the team I weren't playing but I've I've showed to the gaffer that I can play and, and, and he can trust me and, and he's, he's shown me that by playing me and I've just got to stay in the team and keep my shirt I speak to a lot of quite young players who go out on loan who say, you know, I want to be exposed to senior football and I want to play with the men. I guess it must be very different when you're that bit older and you've got those responsibilities yeah. and you're kind of the breadwinner for your family sort of thing. That extra responsibility, have you thrived on it? Yeah, definitely, massively. I think I was 16, 17 when I moved to France, me and me, and me missus now. She quit her job to come and live with me, so... That's something I've got to think about, and we obviously had two young kids as well, and I, I'm doing it for them really. That's that's all I can say. Is obviously, and that's why I want to win so bad here because we don't deserve to be where we are now. We deserve to be right up the end of the the other table, and that that's what we're going to try and do this year. What what's that experience been like? I guess it's been. Have you got boots? Have you got a suitcase? You're going out on loan to wherever it may be. How many moves have you made? How many sort of, not just clubs, but locations? So I've been to five different places. So I went to France, Plymouth, Scotland, Newport. But being back home was, was a no-brainer. I think once, as soon as I knew Morecambe wanted me, as, and when I spoke to the gaffer in the summer, I, I just wanted a sign because these opportunities don't come up, especially when you've... You've got a young family and you want to be at home. Not like I, I, I want to be at home if you get one of me. And I, I do anything to just go and play and play as many games as possible. But something like this come up, I, I'm, I'm bound to take it because I can be home with my family. I can spend Christmas with them. I can see them on a birthday where past years I hadn't been able to do that. I was living away. So it's nice just to go home every day and see my family. Do you think it'll make you a better player being that? close to home and being able to switch off a bit and go home and play with your kids and be with your partner and stuff whereas you've been literally hundreds of miles away before yeah definitely it, it obviously helps massively being at home because you could have the worst day possible and you're going home to your, your two kids who are smiling who have been waiting for you all day so I think that helps massively yeah and you've put the miles in I guess you've been to all these different places yeah how much do you want to put down some roots and, and be able to be here for the long term? Definitely, yeah. Listen, I, I think it's, it's a wonderful club. I've not been here long. A few of the lads have obviously been here longer than me, but they, they speak highly of the club and the st- from the staff to the players, it, it everyone's just so... It's like a big family, really. And we're showing that on the pitch. We, we're sti- we've just got to stick together. And when when bad times are here, like we are now, we're, we're obviously bottom of the league, but I don't think I don't believe that we should be there. 
And, and just lastly, on the pitch, from a personal perspective, how much have you enjoyed it? I think the supporters have been making note of that left foot that you've got. Yeah, yeah, listen, it's it's what, what I do, really. It's, I like to be so direct and I like to create chances and I'm going to keep doing that. And I just need to get a few goals down me on the chart now and, and rack them up.